uh, we can go ahead and control the fuel delivery just for that specific high cam event. So if we ride on our low cam and switch to the high cam, we're not gonna have to worry about blending uh, one gigantic fuel table. We're just simply gonna switch over to this table and be able to hit that exact fuel delivery that we want. Now on the same side of things, we have a low cam ignition timing table and a high cam ignition timing table. And if we look at the values in the table here at something like wide open throttle, we can see the values on the low cam are about 23 to 24 degrees. And looking at the same wide open throttle area on our high cam, we can see they're between 28 to 31 degrees. That's a large difference in ignition timing. And that's because that uh, intake valve closing point is changed on that high cam. And that's going to change our dynamic compression to lower it. And therefore we're gonna be able to increase our ignition timing. And that's going to allow us to do that safely because of that profile switch. So when we switch to the high cam, generally speaking, we're gonna have a bit more ignition timing because our dynamic compression ratio decreases. Now, now that we know how Honda went ahead and controlled the variable valve lift system or the VTEC system, let's look at how we're gonna do it on a standalone. 